Kyle? Mark? Hey, how you doing? Great. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks for having me out. So I get this uh, front walkway here that's developed this crack uh, oh, yeah. over the last few years. Uh, it doesn't really look that good and also has this uh, trip step uh, right. as well. And when you come around here, it also has this uh, really big crack uh, oh, in yeah, the middle of it. So I'm looking to uh, get this uh, up and put something in that looks a lot better. Okay, well up here in New England, I think we all know that the, the concrete is moving a little bit with the freeze thaw cycle. That's when the temperatures go low, we develop frost under the ground. That frost can pick up this pad and really wreak some havoc. So what we do to protect against that is put in control joints. You can see you have a control joint right here. The problem with this one is it's way too shallow, so there's not a full break in this pad. When we have that situation, we get a crack. So basically the only thing we can do right now is bust this one out and put in a new walkway. Sounds good. One thing I noticed was that the walkway was poured first and then they built these steps. So what I'm gonna do is gonna cut this free and everything behind here we're not gonna wanna disturb. So this is where we start to bust up the pad. We have sledgehammers, we have picks. Nice. So all we're gonna do is pound away and get that concrete out. And we don't wanna use a jackhammer for this? Uh, not looking to rent tools for something like this. This is a small pad. If it was a little bigger, maybe we would. But I think we just slam away on it and it gets out. All right. We're just going to take this concrete, put it in a disposable dumpster that we buy at our home center. Once it's full, the disposal company will come grab it and we're all set. This is looking good, Kyle. Uh, now that we have the Old walkway out, let's start to talk about a new walkway. Uh, we could go back with the concrete, right? We would make sure the base was correct. We would make sure the concrete was the right thickness, four inches, and we would definitely make sure that we had that control joint cut deep enough for it to do its job. But what I like to use for your house is a city hall paver. They're right here. So this is a clay brick. It's gonna allow more movability than the concrete did. Very traditional, it'll go great with the house. You have the white paint, the black shutters, this red will really pop. But look at this, this is what I really like. See that gap right there? That's what's gonna kinda give us a little bit of character. Yeah, I think it's gonna look great. Yep, great. So we found that the existing base was actually in pretty good shape. Uh, it's gonna be a good place to start, but we're gonna wanna compact that and then we can add to it and go from there. Now we're gonna install a layer of gravel. Once we get the gravel spread out, we're gonna use a hand tamper and tamp it down. If this were a flat walkway, I would use pack, which is a mixture of three quarter inch gravel and stone dust. But because we're on a slope, I'm looking for extra drainage, which is why I'm gonna use the gravel and put the stone dust on top of that. All right, so what we have here is two fixed points, the bottom of the step and the top of the walkway. So I've taken a piece of scrap wood and I'm gonna use it as a screed. But what I've done, check this out. I've notched our screed to the size of the brick, okay? I've done it on the other end as well. And you'll see why I did that in a second. So what this screed is gonna give us is it's gonna, as we drag it back, it's gonna eliminate all the high spots. It's gonna identify the low spots, which we'll be able to fill in. And then as we drag back, you'll notice that we have a very flat area to work with. That's gonna increase our speed as we install the brick. All right, Kyle, so just find your height, which is gonna be at the top of the concrete over there, same with me. And now just work it back and forth. See how we're just chopping away? So again, back and forth, make a pull, jump it back. 
and just keep working our way back and forth. All right, again, looking at a couple low spots. Again. We're ready to put our brick in, Kyle. And the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our brick in what we call a running bond pattern. Running bond starts off on the first course with a full brick. Second course is a half brick. Third course is gonna be a full brick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this course just to establish to see what kind of cut we have at your end. And again, just a light tap because we've already established a perfect height. Don't forget, Kyle, these brick vary in width and length. Try that half. Okay. Don't forget, our height point is going to be the top of the sidewalk, so you're going to get way down. Yep. What I want to do is take our level and act as a straight edge. Okay. And now it's just time to fly. All right. And yeah, see how that fits right in there? Perfect. And again, watch our height. I know I'm a little bit high right here. But at the end, we'll come down and we'll meet that height. Got it. That's why you, that, so you took those edges out, yep. now you're gonna wanna go right across. Right. Yes. There you go. Oh, you just yeah. lost it. Sorry. Yeah. It's all right, just try another one. Yep. Looks like a glove. All right, great. You just did your first walkway. Congratulations. Sounds good, thank you. <laughs> The edging ties everything in, so we want to make sure we put it in correctly and we want to make sure it's tight. You may have noticed we put some of the edging on the other side well before we started laying the brick. All right, nicely done. Last thing we have to do, stone dust the joints. All right, so I'm going to leave you with a little bit of homework. First thing, i got to have you call the company and move that bag. I can do that. All right. And second thing is right here, you can see we left a haze of stone dust on this mm -hmm. walkway. So what we want to do is wait for a rain. It's a natural occurrence, and that will wash the stone dust into the joints much better than sail hose. After that, you can see that I left you a bucket of stone dust right there. You're going to dump that, spread it just like you did before. Wait for another rain, so that's going to help fill in these extra joints. And that's it. You should be pretty solid. Great. Well, thanks, Mark. Can't thank you enough for your help. All right, Kyle. I had fun. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.